Hello everybody and welcome to D-Moon Show. I'm your host D-Moon and once again we're playing Alan Wake Remastered. We went through the town. Almost there. We'll have to go through the basement to get to the parking lot. Yeah, there's no way going through the crypt will turn out to be a bad idea. We got this heavy duty flashlight, which doesn't appear in cutscenes. And it seems that this town has uh, secrets. Has a secret code word. Night Springs, which is a TV show that we've been seeing. For, uh, that is said for when there's something really, really spooky and unpleasant happening. I got him, Sheriff. Don't worry. Oh, and a warning for those who get Caesars from Bright Lights. Photo... Photo something. I, I can't remember what it's fully called. Because there are Bright Lights in this game. That recently happened like three episodes ago. So just be warned as I would hate for someone to be watching and, you know, have an emergency. Caesars. I, I've actually had someone have a Caesar in... Oh, I'm going to say that name wrong. I don't know why. Caesar. Guess that one saw the light. Huh? Like that, the bright light. You didn't like that one? A tough audience. What are you decked well, out in? Plenty more. Actually, those, what? Wait. What are the Christmas lights, lights going? for? Protection, man. Like garlic against vampires. Vampires. It's not a bad Helicopters idea. Helicopters just across the parking lot and up the hill. Come on. But how are the lights turned on? But yeah, I've had like I was just like sitting in class and we were actually talking about Caesars. I'm gonna have that Caesars. Yeah. And then all of a sudden the kid right like a cross actually fell over and had one and the teachers were like all right that's a great way to show that you're having a seizure and the guy like right beside him was just like didn't even like react or anything and then then they realized oh he actually had the seizure the bright falls general store and is he was now just taken out i think one of the girls the like world. screeched see this headlamp it's like and a i was just like oh, this is I really ironic it's my flaming eye of Mordor. Hello, the rings reference. Oi, I Barry. Wish I didn't say that. Yeah. Hey, yeah. I want a headlamp. Last one. Bastard. <gasps> That's a swear word. Okay, we're over a minute. We can now say swear words. Alice had screamed until she had no voice left to scream. Around her, the darkness was alive. It was cold and wet and malevolent and without end. Ooh. She was a prisoner trapped in the dark place the terror would have burned her mind out but one thing made her hang on she could sense alan in the dark she could hear him she could see the words he was writing as flickering shadows he sensed her too he was trying to work his way to her at least we know she's alive but yeah like he had a seizure and left and i think he came back like the next day or the day after and was like yeah fine Someone throws a damn school bus at your head and you're about to take a helicopter ride with someone who may or may not have a pilot's license. Usually those guys are a little bit quicker. Okay, anything on this side? No. I'm actually fine with games that let you switch uh, your perspective. Uh, oh, no, he is he not able to get over the. Were they not able <laughs> to get over this? Oh, maybe they were. I don't know if they were actually stuck and unable to get over that, uh, that thing. 
Okay, so there are some more... There's manuscripts off the beaten path. Um, because I think that was the last one for this area of manuscripts on the path. The helicopter's just up ahead. I'll need a while to prep for takeoff. Don't take too long. I want to get out of here. Oh, I thought for a second that was a manuscript just right there that I just probably walked over. Alright, this, oh, I know these barrels will probably explode when I hit them. Let's go, let's go. Is that a, oh. Yeah, this is definitely one of those ones. Oh, we got enough. Yeah, make, get everything before, like, actually starting it. I don't need batteries. I barely use batteries as is. Well, I've actually been using them more now. Now that I know, like, I don't take my equipment with us. Oh man, do I take them with us to the next stage? I'm not too sure. There's gotta be a manuscript around. Like, it's been a while since I've seen one. Uh, off the beating path. Alright, I guess... I guess we have to... Oh yeah, and then we learned that... Cynthia is going to left all the uh, Glad that this thing doesn't have good aim.
something bad that would happen if I actually stayed there? It's sort of like zombies, eh? It's like you're getting attacked by a horde of zombies. Wait, you better put an end to this. Just get me to Weaver, Sheriff. You're taking a big chance on a local crazy lady, Al. I hope you're right about her, or we can kiss this town goodbye. It seems like, aside from the other ones, episodes now have like two two segments. We start in the one half, and then we go over to another half. I'm hoping I didn't miss much. I hope you know how much. to deal with this, Wake. I guess you New Yorkers are used to rough situations like this. Right. The city's a war zone. King Kong, mutant alligators. Then Alex Casey shoots the place up every weekend. Look, I never even carried a gun until a couple of days ago. Well, my dad used to be a cop there. Tells some pretty wild stories. Stuff like this? No, no. Just normal bad stuff. Kind of like your books, Wake. I used to tease dad that he was just like Alex Casey. You've read me. Oh, sure. You're a pretty good writer. A little heavy on the metaphors, maybe. Nobody's ever said that before. We're coming up on the power plant. See the lit building over there? And that's the dam further up the river. Aw, uh, that's... I can't land here. I'll take her down the road across the river. Just get me there, Sheriff. I wasn't sure if the birds were actually going to fly in there. Oh. Hold on. Ow. Son of a bitch. Oh, he, he would have had like a broken foot or something. Like that was like that would have sprained someone's his ankle. It tells me too late. Oh, and I got, I like lost all my stuff. Oh, I didn't even have a gun. Yeah. It's like, why worry about anything you pick up? Are the birds gone now? Uh, the darkness controls the Taken. Yes, I know. Oh, that was what I was supposed to do. Ah! Oh, is this a heavy duty one? Oh, yeah, I think this is heavy duty. I guess whenever you're in like a new segment, you lose all your items again. Alright, oh yeah, stand in the light, get some heals, then run out. Gotta go collect everything. Sometimes it's hard to like read some of the stuff on the uh on the wall that's illuminated, because like you shine your light, but it seems like the light blinds it. Unless that's just on my screen and not the other screen that shows what's being recorded. Oh, come on, walk, 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 walk. Oh. Oh, yeah. And here's a new song from a band that, that they always remind me of our local rock legends, the old gods. I couldn't tell you why. I guess it's just you know, one of those things. Anyway, here's Poets of the Fall and their latest single, War. Oh. 
I do like this song. Oh, crap, I had flares. All right, I'm gonna get it because I don't know if it counts. And here's a new song from a band that takes more. Yeah, like... hearing those footsteps. I really hope that's not copywritten, because like, otherwise you're just gonna hear long silence and you won't hear me be like, oh yeah, you're going to be hearing long silence. Because it's like, oh yeah, yeah, there's copy written from this time to this time. Either you can put like a little song in it, uh, which erases all audio to those Hope parts. Glowed in the night. It was close, but I had to find a way across. So far, I haven't had any issues. I, I don't think I'll have any issues with this game. Because there's probably tons of people who like, maybe monetization. Okay, let's just, oh, I'm hearing the heavy breathing. Okay, okay, let's go, let's go. Ow. Very nice. Get up on the floor, let me see you walk the dinosaur. Okay, let's go down here. Let's open this up, turn this on, get some beautiful light. Okay, get this back. Combat this issue that I'm having. Ooh, page. I didn't even see that when I was on the other side. Oh, I must have missed a lot. Oh, maybe not. Making her way through the water pipe alone, Cynthia was angry at the writer. Foolish young man, taking unnecessary risks. And the way he broke the rules. Didn't he understand what was at stake? Since the terrible days in the 70s, she hadn't wavered once. As hard as it had been, she was tired of protecting the town all these long years, and now only wanted to rest. Okay, so apparently Alan's going to do something that will make her upset. And apparently something happened in the 60s, which I think is when Thomas Zane was involved. 
with the uh, darkness and being allured by whatever was wearing Barba Jean's uh, skin. Once again, I've said this so many times in each of my videos, I do love it how they uh, how they go and they tell you the back like backstory or things behind the scene, as it were. Like right there shows like, oh it's the future, but it's probably an event that Cynthia is uh, doing alone. The story I had written in the cabin had come true. Touched by the dark presence, I had written a horror story, but the end was still missing. The story was incomplete, and the last unfinished page of the manuscript still sat in the typewriter in the cabin study. If I could get back there, if I could read the page, then I could write my own ending to this story and save Alice. Oh yeah, probably probably supposed to come up here it's probably also supposed to do that but then kick the board down with me all right let's go well, you know what I I think we gonna just end the I'm gonna end the episode here yeah like, the other episodes were all, like, 40 minutes. Usually I like to stick around 33. The one of them was, like, an hour and something. Because we're like, oh, yeah, this is the end. This is it. Oh, yeah, the end's coming up soon. But then it turned out the end did not come up soon. So I'm going to end the episode here. This seems like a good point because I don't know how much longer uh, this episode will be. And from the judging of what I'm seeing, a lot of this seems like I have to get on hard mode. Because that symbol there is uh, I find the page in Nightmare Difficulty. But so far, I think I've been uh, good for collecting the pages, except for here and there. I think some of them mostly are... Yeah, Nightmare. Nightmare, Nightmare. Oh, no, we got all but Nightmare. I think this one, yeah, I'm missing one. One of them, which is either on the beating path or off it. Oh, and I'm missing one more there. Oh, and I'm missing one here. And two on Nightmare. I'm not doing do Nightmare. I'm just going to play until I win. But I'm going to try and collect all the pages that I can see. And then, yeah, I'm doing okay, I think, for this one. As long as I walk into the last two pages, which I think is on the, uh, the linear path that I have to take to get to where I'm going. But yeah, I'll, I'll end the episode here. I thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys next time as we uh, make our way to the power plant so we can see Cynthia and see if she has the key that will help us defeat the darkness. And hopefully Barry and the uh, sheriff are okay. So until next time, have yourself a good one. Oh, it must have been the light. When I was, like, standing here, I could see the, uh, I could see that thing moving. But I think it's just the uh, light getting weirdly reflected. Like, you can see, like, waves on it, but I think it's just the light. Oh, with further ado, I thank you all for watching, and I hope you're, you're all having a good day. And if you're not having a good day, I hope that things turn around. You do, in fact, have a good day. So until next time, take care, farewell, and have yourself a good one. Bye-bye.